Hey guys, what up? It's I Destiny. Welcome back. This is the LA Lifestyle on a budget skincare, thriftwear, music, all that jazz. And today I'm going to be talking about Black Girl Sunscreen. So I was initially really excited when I heard about this brand. Obviously, being a woman of color, being a black woman, it has always been a struggle for me to find sunscreens that I could use on my face that aren't going to make me look ashy with like some sort of white cast on my face where I'm not going to look purple or blue or anything like that. So most of the drugstore um, kind of cheaper <laughs> sunscreens automatically have that cast on my skin no matter what I look like. And this isn't just like an issue for us black women. Like pretty much anybody on the BIPOC spectrum that has a little bit of melanin in their skin has noticed that when you put on sunscreens they just don't really blend into your skin tone and you just always kind of look chalky. So obviously as you get further down that spectrum of in those deeper and darker skin tones it gets worse. So I really love seeing brands like this that really look at an issue that's been happening in the community for obviously like several decades and has really come out with a product that's really really nice. So um this is fragrance free which I I like because sometimes sunscreens um have like a little bit too much of like that banana-y you know that sunscreen like scent that they have. Um, this one it's nice because it's like silicone free, paraben free. I think it's vegan, um, silicone free. Yeah, all that jazz. And it's actually a moisturizer and a sunscreen. So I like that factor because that means that it's very, very lightweight, which means I feel very comfortable using it on my face. So most sunscreens are very, very thick, very, very goopy. And I usually only use them on my body. But when it gets to my face, I usually try to aim for maybe like a foundation or some other sort of product that has a little bit of SPF in it, but it's just nice to know that if I go out and run errands, I'm going to meeting up with friends, you know, I'm not gonna be outside that long, I'm just trying to, you know, be real, real cute and low key, I can just, you know, put this on my face after I wash it, maybe do a little bit of highlighter and mascara and just like run out the door and not be feeling like I have to do a whole full beat to use, you know, a foundation with sunscreen in it. I like that in February Ulta did kind of like a campaign talking about a lot of the black owned businesses that they had at their store and I like the fact that this was actually in store. Nothing just like irritates me more and is like one of my biggest pet peeves is when a company decides that they want to be allies, that they want to carry products by, you know, a black owned or, you know, a woman of color or whatever and then they don't have it in store, they just have it online. Like, okay, I see you're trying to put forth some kind of effort, but it's not really accessible if it's only online and it can't be found in your hundreds of stores across the country. So love the fact that I was just able to pop in and buy this, it was only like 15 bucks, especially because there's other you know brands and stuff on the market that have products um, that are like two or three times this price. And it's like, I'm not trying to pay all that for sunscreen. So like the fact that this actually works, um, like the fact that it's accessible, you can go into an Ulta store and find it. it's very very easy and you know it's within a good price point and you can get it online as well if you decide to go that route so those are the good things about it now my one caveat that I had about this is that it's it's not non-comedogenic so um, which pretty much means that like non-comedogenic non is pretty much like something that's not going to clog your pores. So I did have a little bit of difficulty with this with using it on a daily basis. You just really have to make sure you get a really good oil cleanser or micellar water and then use the actual face wash on top of that to just make sure that you get all the product off of your skin because using it day in and day out it can be a little bit on the greasy side. Um, so I think they actually launched a product, um, this same one that's like a matte finish or whatever. So definitely, if you have more oily skin, check that out, see how you like it. I'm definitely interested in that. You know, obviously it's still warm outside for us here on the West Coast. Um, but check that out, uh, see if you like the matte formula, maybe a little bit better. But other than that, I think this is a really great product. I love that it's, you know, very, very lightweight. It feels like a very lightweight moisturizer when you put it on your skin. Um, and I love the fact that I can protect my skin without looking ashy. So that's pretty much my rundown of Black Girl Sunscreen. Also, if you're interested in seeing some of the other amazing black owned uh, products that I've reviewed on this channel, I'm going to go ahead and link it up here if you guys check out. I have a whole like Black Parade playlist that I've been, I think it's been going on for a little over a year now consistently as a playlist, but I've been adding like individual videos as we've gone along. So definitely check that playlist out if you're interested in more B.O.B.s. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you want to see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do well and be well and I'll see you later. Bye.